In Gelsenkirchen on Sunday night, dejected England trailed Slovakia goal to nil before pulling off an unlikely victory. Kyle Walker wasn't the only player to lose focus. After taking a private jet into Germany to watch the match, Annie Kilner was spotted feeding their infant boy Reason from the stands at Velten's Arena. Walker and his colleagues were having a terrible time making an impression during this terrible round of 16 at Euro 2024. After the fullback's admission that he fathered an unmarried child with influencer Lauren Goodman shook the couple's marriage, Kilner, 30, left her Cheshire home with all four of their kids. Additionally, pals say she has the full support of her fellow wags during the competition. On Saturday, England, who overcame a 2-1 deficit to defeat Slovakia, will play Switzerland in the quarterfinals. According to a source, Annie used a private aircraft with all four of her kids to cheer on Kyle and the squad during their first-round knockout match against Slovakia, they love hanging out at the stadium, supporting their father and mingling with the other families. Nothing will alter the fact that they have grown up surrounded by the world of football, that is what they are accustomed to. It means the world to him to know that they and other family members are supporting him from the stands, the other wags adore Annie and respect her for her tenacity and fortitude. The WAGs want Annie to know that they are there for her and Kyle, and they recently promised their support amidst Lauren's circus. Regardless of what occurs between the adults, they are all like one large family and work together to help the younger members of the group. As insiders criticized her choice to put her marriage in the public domain, Kieran Trippier's wife Charlotte drove fans into a frenzy this week after posting a mysterious message on Instagram about getting over things. Although it's unclear to whom the post was addressed, Kieran is believed to have taken the remarks personally. In the meantime, Scandal in Annie's personal life has been plaguing her for several months since he was revealed as the father of TV personality Lauren Goodman's offspring. Annie is the first WAG to be cited traveling to Germany. According to recent reports, Annie and Charlotte, who became close after their husband signed contracts with Tottenham Hotspur, might have formed a deadly alliance as a show of support amidst domestic turmoil. The women claim that while they watched their other halves, Kyle Walker and Kieran Trippier, play in North London, they grew extremely close. They used to socialize together back in 2015, when they were still in their early 20s, and they relished the wealth that came with being a Premier League player's partner. Even though Walker and Trippier have since been sold, Annie and Charlotte remain close friends. They are connected by their shared history of playing the game and meeting their partners when they were still in school. Football insiders had the same question when Charlotte, Kieran's wife of eight years, sent an astounding mysterious remark on Instagram, is Charlotte acting according to Annie's plan? How come the weddings of not one, not two, members of the England squad are causing more controversy off the field than the team is on it, using social media as their preferred weaponry? Tuesday's action started as Trippier and Walker got ready to play Slovenia in what ended up being yet another boring draw. Sooner or later you get over the s asterisk 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 you swore you'd never get over and it's the best feeling in the world, wrote Charlotte on her public Instagram account. Trippier is thought to have accepted that the message was directed at him, even if it is not confirmed. Notably, it quickly surfaced that she had unfollowed her spouse, which is a fatal blow in the world of widows and orgies. England manager Gareth Southgate must have been appalled by what happened next. The nation was more focused on the goings-on inside the Trippier's marriage than on the penalty area as the game in Cologne got underway. Friends of the celebrity were understandably incensed at Charlotte's outburst and charged her with picking an optimum moment to share it online. The fact that Charlotte chose to disclose her apparent marital problems on her public Instagram account rather than her private one, which she uses for her family and close friends, added poignancy to the post. Other signs that something is wrong in the Trippier household have surfaced. In a Newcastle karaoke bar last year, Kieran was seen approaching a blonde woman while he and his colleagues were celebrating United's Champions League qualifying. Soon later, Kieran and Charlotte co starred in a prime video documentary where Kieran opened up about her difficulties upon moving to Spain after her husband signed a contract with Atletico Madrid. I was alone for a long time, she remarked. After about four months, I was saying to Kieran, I don't know if I can stay here, I feel depressed, since I felt so alone. There is no family or friends with me over here. It seems coincidental that they are such good friends, 
are both clearly having issues in their marriages, and are both making sure that their private lives are being discussed across the country while England are under such scrutiny at the Euros. A source familiar with both Charlotte and Annie tells me, Annie has developed a bit of an expertise in expressing herself, whether it be through press releases or in-person briefings with reporters. Everyone has been captivated by her relationship issues, for Charlotte, it is now the same. It appears that their husbands are being sidetracked by a potentially fatal WAG alliance, which is also casting a shadow over the competition. No one saw Charlotte coming, and there seemed to be no way that the drama could grow worse. Then it actually did. Yes, since the start of the competition, Annie, 30, has been engaged in a briefing war with her husband's former girlfriend, utilizing all of her abilities and connections. In order to make sure they are on the same side, Annie hired a star public relations specialist and demanded that she further represent Walker. Since Lauren identified Kyle as the father of her two children, Cairo, age 4, and a girl, age 10 months, Annie and Lauren have been at odds for a number of years. Cairo was escorted to Frankfurt by Lauren last week to support his father during the England team's vice-captainship match against Denmark. There was no private plane to take her there, unlike Annie and the other WAGs. She traveled on a commercial airline with her grandfather John and stayed in a hotel close to the stadium that she purchased for herself. Nevertheless, Annie was described as furious. Subsequently, other tales surfaced in the media, some of which were flagrantly false. For example, one story stated that the FA had increased security to prevent Lauren from approaching the England WAGs, but they had no knowledge she was there at all, as they verified to me. Additionally, there have been attempts to persuade the press to criticize Lauren for creating a circus at the game and emphasize that Kyle Walker and Cairo have no emotional relationship. According to an England squad insider, Annie may not be coming out and saying this stuff, but she is behind this all getting out there. That she is doing this while the England team is competing in a major tournament is completely bizarre. The fact that Lauren had made her attendance at the game public infuriated her. Though she believes she ought to have gone there in silence, Annie now seems to be against Lauren having a voice. That's all well and good, but as your husband is the vice-captain during a European tournament, it seems like a silly time to be doing this and distracting to him and the team. Lauren is obviously not innocent in all of this, but she still went along and bought her kid a ticket to a football game on her own dime. The fact that so many people, including Annie, find it so bothersome is just bizarre.